So for me, she's kind of like if Hercules had a baby with Tigra and the baby was Shang-Chi. All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with the next champion entering MCOC, and this one's going to be Mantis. Oh, man. Karate Mike and Skill Champions. Two things that go together like peanut butter and jelly. All right, so Mantis. We're going to jump right into her today, and we're going to go over everything, how she works. Like always, going to tell you everything that you need to know. Going to go over how she works, what she does, how to use her different rotations. Before we do that, I'm going to show you a fight. And then I'm going to explain everything that happened while we go over our abilities. The fights are pretty fast. So we're going to go ahead and watch our Deadpool here first. I'm going to be showing you like a lot of different fights in this video, a lot of different rotations with suicides, without suicides. This one's going to be standard Mantis with suicides against our Deadpool here. Okay. Now, um, just watch the fight. Just watch the fight. And then I'll go over everything with you after, okay? So this is what we're doing. We're building up some of those passives. You know, we're putting the debuffs on Deadpool here. We're playing a little defensive at the moment, right? Baiting out that heavy attack. And then we're going to be baiting out some specials. And we're building up to a special two, essentially. And, you know, we want to get to that special two. That's the goal right now. Get to the special two. Push him towards the wall, okay? And once he's towards the wall, we're going to go ahead and uh, put him to sleep for a little bit. And again, we're going to go over all of this in just a second, okay? Watch this. Oh, oh, so for all you people out there who like damage, there you go. I feel like we've been missing the damage for a bit, right? Um, Atuma could get there. Sure, it could get there with the damage over time. We've been missing the damage for a bit, though. We've been missing the big yellow numbers for a bit. Mantis has it. Mantis has the damage without a doubt. Um, so let's go over everything you need to know. Okay, so she brings a new thing to the game it's called Tranquilize. It's kind of like Tigra's Neutralize or Rintra's Neutralize, right? That sort of thing. However, instead of countering buffs, it's going to counter debuffs, okay? Now, it seems like with Mantis, with this new mechanic, they are finally fixing that problem of the first champion to do something always being the best and there being no room for improvement. And when I say that, it's like, you know, Nimrod comes out and he counters prowess still to this day better than anybody else. He's just that mutant killer, right? Spidey 2099 comes out and he counters passive power gain better than anybody else who does it. It's just, it's just you don't, you can't beat the way he does it. It's just very, very strong. And if you were to make a new champion with that mechanic stronger than that, can you imagine if Quicksilver could reverse passive power gain by 125% every time he dexed, he would be busted. So the way that, that that's kind of being counteracted here, her Tranquilize passive has a 100% potency against science champions playing into the class wheel, but only a 25% potency against non-science champions, okay? So it makes her very strong against science champions, but a little bit less than reliable for some of those interesting matchups where you really need to, you know, avoid the debuffs um, against non-science champions. However, at 6 200, that 25% goes up to 50%. So you got that 50% chance. The way that her Tranquilize works is when you're standing still, there's a Tranquilize passive on the opponent. So you're not moving, you're not blocking, you're not hitting, you're not doing anything. There's a Tranquilize on the opponent, okay? And that's gonna work for Encroaching Stun, avoids debuffs, Joe fixes its special attack, lots of stuff like that. Now, you can toggle your ability to stand still or run at the opponent by double tapping the block. It's a cool mechanic. I think there's a lot of room to use this in the future for, for future champions. There's a Star Lord synergy that actually actually allows him to um, select which effect he has in a special two, which is great for Star-Lord, really. It's very, very good for Star-Lord. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, when you're playing Mantis, more often than not, you don't want to get rid of this. It's a really unique mechanic for her. As a defender, this Tranquilize is going to be on you 25% potency, but a science champion, 100% potency. So no debuffs at all ever when you're fighting her with a science champion. You have a regen effect active, it goes away. So just keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the mixed emotions, okay? So mixed emotions, when you dash back after the first, second, or third light attack, you're going to put an infuriate debuff, just like Hercules has, and it's very, very powerful. On top of that, when you do your fourth light attack, you put an intimidate debuff on the opponent. So she has both infuriate and intimidate, two of the most powerful mechanics in the entire game. She has full manipulation over the AI, which you can make the opponent do what they need to do. It's one of the most fun things that she does. So intercepting the opponent while they have the infuriate on gives you two mixed emotions. Hitting their block when they have the intimidate gives one mixed emotion. Okay, and then those mixed emotions, you know, they do like certain things, but we're just gonna talk about the important stuff here. 
The mixed emotions, when you charge your heavy attack while close to the opponent, you consume all of them and you put the opponent into a sleep passive for 0.5 seconds, increased up to four seconds based on the amount of whatever, however it works. You wanna do it with 20, right? And it goes up to four seconds. This ability cannot be activated with no mixed emotions passives on the opponent, right? And she can't do that to you on defense. So whether you have one mixed emotion or 20 mixed emotion, charge your heavy attack while you're next to the opponent, they're gonna be put to sleep, okay? Now, her heavy attack can be charged for an extended duration, and while she's charging, she builds up fury passives, up to 10 of them, and it's perfectly timed where if you have 20 of the mixed emotions, okay, you're gonna be able to charge all 10, and you're gonna drop the heavy attack. Now, each hit grants her a cruelty buff, but it only stacks up to two. And there's a reason why it only stacks up to two, because if we skip the special one and go to the special two, if this special attack was activated during Mantis' heavy attack, the special attack deals guaranteed critical hits. Special attack three, inflict 100% potency tranquilized debuff for 26 seconds. So against any class here, you're gonna put that um, tranquilized debuff on the opponent, 100% potency and for that one I don't believe you have to be standing still so if you can get to the special three that's going to be very powerful however a lot of times you know you're going to need that tranquilize utility before you build three bars of power but there's definitely going to be situations where that will be helpful in the future I think now the special one she waves her hand and puts an encroaching sleep passive for 14 seconds. So essentially, this is an encroaching stun for the opponent. Now, that's going to put them to sleep just like for your heavy attack after 14 seconds. And on activation, she also purifies two debuffs. And if she doesn't have any debuffs, she's going to get a cleanse passive instead, allowing her to purify two debuffs when she gets them from the cleanse. Whenever a debuff is purified due to that effect, she inflicts two mixed emotions on the opponent. So for me, she's kind of like... If Hercules had a baby with Tiger and the baby was Shang-Chi, that's kind of like what Mantis is to me. Um, maybe throw in a little bit of Valkyrie in there too because he got the Intimidate debuff. So she is pretty cool. Can do a lot of things, right? She can definitely do a lot of things. Let's take a look at that same Deadpool fight and we'll go. I'm going to do the exact same thing, but this time no suicides. I'm going to talk you through it as we go. So I like to start with the light attack because I'm a little risky. I'm a little crazy guy, right? So I like to do these little light attack intercepts. Boom, boom, boom. I like to go really fast, right? I like to get about, usually I like to get 14. I only got 12 there, right? But what I like to do is finish off my last combo, full combo. And then I finish off the mixed emotions up to 20, okay? Intimidate is gone. We have the Infuriate on now. We're gonna use the Infuriate to just make this guy more aggressive. That's all we're really doing at this point. And now what I wanna do is, I'm at two bars of power, I'm gonna put the Intimidate on, get him into the corner, and now we're gonna go for the heavy attack. He's put to sleep. We have our 10 Furies. We're gonna heavy attack. We're gonna cancel into special two, and it does a lot of damage. Without suicides on and class disadvantage, we just don't kill him. But as you can see right here, we're building up again, right? And look at this. I mean, we're already at eight mixed emotions here. I'm gonna go for a special one to finish it off. I mean, she's very fluid to play. And what I love about her is that there isn't just one way to play her. Let's say you wanna get debuffs off of you, right? So right away, gonna build up to the special one, okay? And like I said, you know, I mean, purifies two. There we go, they're gone. Put the encroaching sleep on the opponent. In 14 seconds, he's gonna go to Betty Bye. okay? And now at this point, we're gonna put some more uh, Intimidates on. And what's great about this is that I can put on the Infuriate while the Intimidate is there. I can put on the Intimidate while the Infuriate is there. I can alternate them back and forth. It's great. It's a really great mechanic, man. It's very, very powerful that she could do both of these things, to be entirely honest. It's very powerful. It's like one of the most powerful things Hercules has. One of the most powerful things that Hulkling and Valkyrie have, the Intimidate. Who else has it? Masakure has it with the Synergy, right? So at this point, check it out. I have how many? 10 Mixed Motion Passes? 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. I don't need to build all the way up. Seven Furies is more than enough, you know? So you don't even have to build all the way up to 20. Now, as you play with her more, right, you can certainly um, do some things that you might not want to do in a high pressure situation like Alliance or Battlegrounds where you can be punished for your mistakes, right? But as you can see here, I switched right away. I want to stay in the middle of the Battleground here. And what I'm saying to myself now is like, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uh, just really messing with him, switch things all around all the time. Going to go for a special one here, put him to sleep in 14 seconds, you know? That way I'm going to have that opening after that. I'm going to try and time that if I can to get another opening in, 
right? So yeah, here we go. We're gonna put the Intimidate on. Just gonna hit his block. Gonna try and bait out a heavy attack. There we go, right in. And look, asleep. Now that'd be great if we were in the middle of the field, right? But that's just something that you can use that encroaching sleep to your advantage. It is absolutely not just a defensive mechanic, okay? So now at this point, I have my 20 mixed emotions, right? I'm gonna put on the uh, Infuriate debuff here. I'm gonna bait out, a oh, oh, I missed it. I missed it. So watch what I did. I put on the Infuriate. I love this. I love this and it requires very precise timing, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put the Intimidate back up. Bam, intercept with the heavy attack sleep. So. This is something that's like, you know, you should not be doing that in every matchup. That's one of those things where it's like, if you're really feeling yourself, man, it's kind of like a, a Scorpion Special 2 intercept, you know, one of those things. But the thing is with her sleep on her heavy attack, man, it's, it's, it's very strong for getting openings too. Like, look at that right there. I had what, four mixed emotions? There's no rule. There's no rule saying I have to build up above 10. I had four. I had four. It makes no difference. Check it out. Bam. Look at this. I got five Furies here. If I was at a special two, that would have been pretty potent. You know, now at this point, this fight's going well, right? We're controlling She-Hulk here. We got the entire fight under control. We are playing with her emotions. We're doing a little light intercepts there. Now at this point, 10. We got 10 mixed emotion passes, five Furies. What do they say? Five is just enough. An 80k special two. That's fine. I don't need any more than that, right? 80k special two is fine. You know, so that's the thing. It's like, you don't always have to build the 20, which is really solid. You can use that heavy attack for a bit of an opening there. So we're gonna take a look at Biohazard Invisible Woman. Take a look at some of that tranquilized stuff. Now, Invisible Woman's a little bit annoying here because she, she has that weird AI where she likes to hold her block while she's invisible, right? And when I'm standing still, as you can see, she's just like not really playing into me here. So I'm gonna take it a little bit slower because of the tranquilize. I want the tranquilize to stay on because what we're doing here is we're interacting with biohazard, right? As long as that little syringe passive up there, that's what I think it is at least, man. Um, that little syringe is up there. We're gonna be safe from biohazard, okay? So hitting her block, hitting her in the face, we're not gonna get the poison, we're not gonna get the bleed. Now, this is about the time where I would go in and I would use a special two. However, she's about to get her force field back, so I can't do that. I have to get rid of the force field again, which is why, you know, at the end of the day, Mantis is not the best invisible woman counter, but she's just, you know, the first one on the path here, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, you know? But the shield is, is just about gone at this point. One more hit, right? Invisible, okay. Go in, get rid of that, bam. And now, we're gonna play it safe. We're not gonna intercept with the, with the heavy attack like we did against Vulture, we're going like this, bam, bam, 130K special two, nice. So I wanna take a look at that, this is the same lane, but now it's going to be against Ghost, who is not a science champion. So only a 50% chance for the Tranquilize to get rid of a debuff here. So this is certainly a drawback for how powerful she is against science champions, okay? So right away, we got a bleed, right? We got a bleed on us right away. That's okay though. You know, it's not taking us down too much. I mean, at the end of the day, um, it is Act 6. Act 6 was the attack values were nerfed by a little bit. And that's definitely going to be um, making these type of lanes easier to do, you know? So it's okay if you get like one or two debuffs on you. And also at the end of the day, you know, we have a 50% chance to, to not to not have it on us, you know? But again, I wouldn't really recommend using her against non-science champions here, but still, even without it, she did it just fine. She did it just fine. So we're gonna take a look at how she does against some like typical science defenders now. So against Immortal Abomination, right away, interesting, no poisons on him either. So Tigra does this thing, right? I guess Rintra and Wiccan do it too with the, the neutralize or whatever. So um, you know how it's like, it reduces the ability accuracy of all buffs. So even like buffs like on her, she doesn't get, so she, I guess, reduces the ability accuracy of all debuffs. So even the debuff that he puts on himself, she counters very powerful against I-Bomb here, okay? Because if he can't gain his, his poisons, he can't do anything really. 
and he can't inflict poison on you, you know? And look, every time we would get a debuff, we're gonna get an additional mixed emotion, which is great, and it really speeds her ramp up. So let's say we're using her in Alliance War, right? But on a power start one, we're done. We're done already. One more hit, and then you, you're at two bars of power, you're at 19 mixed emotions, you chain your heavy attacks, and then you go for a big special two kill, you know? Put on a power back boost, oh my goodness gracious. So yeah, no petrified debuff on us here, you know? And you hit his block. Oh, we went for the little intercept there. We were feeling a little spicy, all right? Here, we're gonna go for the special one because it's just a duel, so we're gonna kill him otherwise. But how about that? Look, even that, right? We went for the, the, the special one, we got the cleanse, and we got rid of that poison that we got on us. Quicksilver, Quicksilver, man. So, Quicksilver certainly puts debuffs on you sometimes, right? Annoying when he does that kind of thing. I like her for Quicksilver. I feel like she's not the best Quicksilver counter. You still have to know how to fight him, but if you know how to fight him, she's pretty decent, right? You would want to build up another bar of power here, but the thing that's so great is that since he is a science champion, you're going to get that class advantage. You're going to do a lot of damage. That's always really good, you know? So yeah, that's Quicksilver. You got the pig? You got Piggy? So again, you know, I feel like she isn't the best piggy counter, but let's say you're playing Battlegrounds, man. You don't have a pig counter, man. Just pops up in your final draft. You know, the way you want to fight the pig is spam the special one, right? So like, listen, the thing is though, what makes piggy really annoying when you're fighting him is that he does make the fights go on longer. He puts taunt debuffs on you. You're not going to get the debuffs on you because you're going to be tranquilizing him. It's great. So void. You're not going to be seeing those debuffs on you, man, unless you time it improperly. So, she, you know, she's one of those champions where you're not going to get her right out of the box and be like, oh, yeah, I'm a Mantis expert. I will never have to have a debuff again for the rest of my life. That's not how it's going to be. She's going to certainly take some time of getting used to here. Void must have, like, does he have, like, no health pool? What's going on? with What's going on, man? Like, we just, we just new to that guy. So... The thing is though, there are a lot of science defenders who rely on, on putting debuffs on you to be annoying. Joe Fix It, he's not a hard defender. What makes him hard is when he puts three disorients on you and then he throws 10,647 bullets right into your block and your health bar just goes right like that. And I even got hit, great. But when there's no disorient on you, it's not going to be hitting you too hard through the block, right? And how he puts the disorient on you is when he activates special attacks. So when you have that tranquilize on him, you don't really have to worry about that. So that's really great for a lot of solid science matchups. I think she's definitely going to have her uses in battlegrounds, right? There's a lot of champions who put debuffs on you. Most of them are science and that's how, you know, they pose a threat, man. Um, I'm sure Mr. Fantastic, I'm sure as well. You know, she doesn't really counter evade. But honestly, what I love her in mostly is just generic matchups, man. We haven't had a champion in a while who's just very good as like a generic quester who just does so much damage in a very short amount of time. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the Tranquilize is cool. But yeah, I mean, she's just so fluid to me. And obviously I'm a big Hercules fan. I'm a, you know, I, I love her. Valkyrie, I love uh, Hulkling, so I love Intimidate as well. I love being able to manipulate the AI. It's my favorite thing to do. One of my favorite things to do. I think it's very, um, very powerful mechanic to do. You know, um, because what 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 is one of the biggest issues with MCUC is that the AI just sucks, dude. Like the AI sucks. You know, so being able to make the AI more aggressive, make the AI more defensive, at your wanting and going back and forth between that whenever you want it, that is very appealing to me, you know? Um, so yeah, Mantis Man can definitely do a lot of very interesting things. She certainly has the damage. She has some very interesting utility. The Tranquilize against non-science champions, not the best in my opinion, not the best because um, you just have to just watch out for it. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, she'll be able to do it fine and like questing and stuff, but it's not, you know, it's like, don't send your Mantis to Path 9 and Alliance War against, you know, the champion is going to be putting incinerates and poisons on you, uh, who is in science. It's like against science champions though, yeah, she's going to work great there. She's going to work great there and Void's there very often. She's going to be very good for Void and Hazard Shift. So that kind of stuff, man. Um, when it comes to synergies, she has some of them, nothing too crazy, really. The best one really is probably the Star-Lord one, how his, uh, his special two stuff just isn't random anymore. That's great. That's really great for him. You know, Drax can like <laughs> parry non-contacts. Cool. 
Um, over here with Rocket, the Power Drain on Special 1 consumes 10 scraps out of 15. That's actually really good for Rocket. I was going to throw more Special 1s for the Power Drain. The thing is, Mantis does not need, like, any of these synergies for her, you know? Um, like, this one allows her to ramp up faster, but her ramp is, like, 10 seconds. Uh, this one gives her block efficiency, but you don't really block with her. Um, this one increases the duration of Infuria and Intimidate by two seconds. That's good, but you really don't need it. And then over here, um, Mantis' sleep inflicted by charging her heavy attack has its duration increased by 0.5 seconds flat. That is probably the best one, but then you have to have Drax on the team and Drax sucks. It's like, you just don't need it. That, that's really saying like, well, you can do max furies at 18 mix emotions instead of 20 it's like all right just intercept one more time with the intimidate you don't need to do that um and then this one is it's useless while at least one personal cruelty buff is active gain your precision passive increasing critical rating by 350 it's useless it's it's by 350 it's nothing it's nothing and at the same time you got guaranteed critical hits on the special too and that's when you get the cruelty passive so it's like it's just uh she doesn't need any synergies which is a good thing by the way you know it's not a game breaker for champion but at the end of the day when a new champion comes out it's like you know well you need three synergies to be good that's not good we don't want that we don't want that so that's mantis that's what she can do that's how to use her how to use her is up for debate i showed you like five different ways to use her it's going to depend on the situation it's going to depend on your play style she is not going to be a champion for everybody. I want to make that very clear. Tiger is not a champion for everybody. Um, she is the type of champion who, if you don't play her properly, she is not going to be good. That's just how it is. But her ceiling is very high. So that's cool. But just keep that in mind. It's like if you're not into the play style, that's totally cool. She's not going to be for everybody. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big ol' like. Let me know what you think about Mantis in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future, hopefully, Mantis videos if I get her in two months. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll be seeing you around.